Terra Plana Reloaded. She called me Mr. Bombastic, tell me fantastic, put me on my box, she says I'm Mr. Rowe. As the International Space Station and the Soyuz flew 252 miles over southeastern Mongolia. That was Fyodor Yurchikin wishing uh, his colleagues good luck aboard the station. The uh, first separation burn is underway. Eight seconds. Thirty seconds. About uh, 25 seconds away from the second of these two separation burns. This one coming up will be 15 seconds in duration. We have DPO firing. Copy. Second separation burn underway. You can see the thruster firings in this uh, image from uh, one of the external cameras on the International Space Station, increasing the opening rate uh, for the Soyuz, where two orbits from now it will be in position uh, for the deorbit burn that will send it out of uh, low Earth orbit on the route home to a landing in South Central Kazakhstan. We are ready to uh, send the command G. Oh, Grigori 4 and TV deactivated. And there's our uh, video of the Soyuz MSO 4 under its main chute uh, and the nominal venting of hydrogen peroxide from the thrusters. Everything is in great shape. Uh, we should be seeing the jettisoning of the heat shield that will expose the altimeter. Uh, that uh, will provide uh, altitude and rate of descent information to the Soyuz's computers. Everything is in great shape, just 11 minutes until touchdown. Clearly saw the soft landing engines firing a second or two uh, before touchdown. And uh, there you see uh, the first of the crew members uh, coming out. That would be Fyodor Yurchikin. The uh, three crew members were extracted in fairly rapid fashion uh, with no issues associated. Uh, they are now inside the uh, inflatable medical tent at the landing site undergoing uh, initial medical testing. the crew members. You can stand here behind the seat. Should I give you the baseball hat? Over here, over here. Here? That's Jack Fisher, of course, uh, back on Earth after 136 days in space with Fyodor Yurchikin. Uh, Peggy Whitson was the last out of the Soyuz vehicle. She was seated in the right seat of the descent module. And here comes Peggy Whitson. So all three crew members now out of the uh, Soyuz MSO-4. At the landing site, they should be uh, carried a uh, very short time from now into the inflatable medical tent for the start of medical testing and to get out of their Russian launch and entry suits.